this is a different animal than we generally encounter. Different because it's a weasel. But what's not so obvious is this animal's incredible ability to survive in some of the most hostile environments on the planet. We like to go into a place like the Tetons and play in the winter and we go out with our skis and our snowmobiles and play for the day and then come home to a warm house or a warm cabin. This animal lives out there its whole life, day in and day out. It is designed for cold temperatures and for deep snow. We use the term thermal neutrality in science to define uh, the upper and lower temperature limits at which we are comfortable. For humans, our lower limit is about 60 degrees. At that point, we need to do something to get warm. For the wolverine, the lower limit of thermal neutrality is estimated at 40 below zero. The Teton range from Yellowstone Park south may support as few as a dozen wolverines. This is an animal that lives at extremely low population densities. But these populations don't live in isolation. They'll move as much as 20, 25 miles a day in some instances. One male wolverine may use an area as large as 500 square miles. So a wolverine that's now living in the Tetons, uh, its ancestors may have originated in northwest Montana or northern Idaho. The wolverine is primarily a scavenger. During the winter months, they find carcasses that will dig out from under 20 feet of snow in some cases. But during the summer months, they become more of a predator, more of a hunter. They'll hunt marmots and ground squirrels, ground nesting birds. And we even know of a, a wolverine that was able to kill a yearling bull moose. A weasel is a little carnivore living in a world of big carnivores. And uh, an attitude can often be advantageous. While the wolverine can be as ferocious as we imagine it to be, we're learning that wolverines form strong family bonds and that the male will actually uh, visit natal dens, probably just getting to know the youngsters as they grow older. Once they leave their mother, uh, the young wolverines will find their father and often travel with him for hours or for days in some cases. So we're seeing now that this is a much more complex social structure within a wolverine society than we ever imagined. I particularly admire the wolverine because it doesn't have any need for humans. It doesn't need to associate with us. The wolverine truly represents a wildness and an independence that I think we can all admire.